PRP's rear fold flat seats bring a whole new look to the back of your Pro XP, Pro R, or Turbo R. They allow you to customize the look and add more comfort to the back of your vehicle while still maintaining the ability to fold flat and create extra storage space. Just like our other rear seat options for the Pro XP, these seats can be used with the stock harnesses or with aftermarket harnesses like the ones we offer here at PRP. Installation is going to be the same on both sides, so we're going to show you one and you can replicate everything on the other side. First step, just simply remove your stock seat in there right now. So undo the latch on top, undo any harnesses you have, and pull the top portion out. Then flip over the bottom section so you can get to the bolts here underneath. First thing we're gonna do is remove the stock latch from the top of the seat. You're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket on these top two bolts, and then a 10 millimeter socket and wrench on the bottom bolt and nut. To get the latch out, you're gonna flip the seat around and take off this front headrest. You can use just a screwdriver and just push it in there really deep and pop it open so the plastic piece comes off. Then you're gonna unhook this plastic latch and then you can pull the metal latch all the way through. Now we're gonna install that same latch onto our PRP seat. So first step is to take that plastic latch and feed it all the way through so it lines up with this bolt hole down here. The stock bolt is way too long for our latch housing, so we provided an extra bolt or extra hardware to do that. You can use the same nut that you pulled off the stock seat to attach it. That nut is pretty tight and kind of hard to get in there, so you just really have to push it down against the seat cover and then get it hand tight to start with. After that, you're gonna push down on this latch, take that metal end and hook it back into its housing. Then take those two stock bolts and put them back on the top. Then tighten everything back down with a 10 millimeter socket and wrench. Now we're gonna start on the bottom section. First thing you do is gonna be to remove the plastic or stock seat on there. So you're gonna use a T40 to remove the six bolts that hold that plastic base to the bracket. Then just take out the stock cushion. Next, take our bottom cushion and put it underneath. Make sure you have it oriented the right direction. It's kind of backwards to how you think it's gonna be. So the back of the seat is gonna go up here towards the front and then think about it flips correctly that way. Then get all the bolt holes lined up. There's a little guide here in the front that makes it kind of easy. And then you're just gonna put those six T40 bolts back in. It can be kind of difficult to get this on with the different plates. So my best advice is work on one or focus on one bolt, get that fed in and lined up correctly and at least hand tight, and then do one on the other side. And after you get those in, all the other ones will be a little bit easier to work with. Once all the bolts are in and everything's lined up correctly, you can flip the seat back up and over. And then last step, you're gonna install the top of the seat so move the seat around until you get those two feet to slide into the slots. Then just click in the top. You'll notice we really finely tune the tolerances on this seat so it's not having a lot of sliding or movement on the top like the stock seats have. Then simple enough, just like the stock seats, if you wanna take it out, undo the latch in the back, pull out the top, and you can flip the bottom back over and create your storage space. You can install our seats into a Pro XP, Pro R, Turbo R that has the folding seats, 
or just has the standard fixed seats. Obviously though, on with the standard fixed seats, they're not gonna magically fold. You still need to have that folding bracket for them to work. So our seats will be fixed in place, just like your stock ones are. Installation on the bottom portion is just a little bit different. Rather than having this folding bracket, you're gonna have two fixed brackets that go on either side. To remove your stock seats, you're gonna take out the two bolts on either side in front and the single bolt on either side in the back. Once that's done, you're gonna take off this bracket from your stock cushion using the same Torx bolts. Then reinstall this on the bottom of our PRP cushion. After you have it on there, put both of these back in, then just reinstall the four bolts in front and the two in rear using the stock hardware. These are our lowest sitting seats for the back of the Pro XP, which is especially nice if you have really tall passengers or a lowered cage.